Lisa here from Mar Georgia Suburban Homestead, and this is tonight's salad from the garden. Uh, let's see if I can identify the parts for you. Okay. Garlic and olive oil. This is white cucumber that we're growing that's really quite nice. We've got two kinds of peppers. That's a Mirasaki purple, which has no heat. And then over here, we've got a little bit of um, a hotter pepper. Watch Charlie get all of those because he doesn't like them, and he's going to probably get a whole mouthful of them. Um, that's just the way it rolls. Spearmint. We've got red tomato and an evil olive tomato that's at the bottom here. Let's see if I can find it. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I know those look really really bad, but they are actually kind of sweet. There it is. There's a evil olive. It's kind of a tart little tomato mixed with a sweet tomato. I'm gonna mix that up, and Charlie will probably put some balsamic vinegar on his, and I'll put uh, feta cheese on mine and a little bit of vinegar. And we'll be good to go. Eating from the garden, eating healthy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, thumbs up, make a comment. See how you would have handled this. Again, we have just a little bit of the awi pepper in it. Also tonight, parsley tomatoes. Charlie's going to boil that down for tomato juice. Parsley tomatoes. We've got uh, steamed Brussels sprouts with yellow squash. That's the uh, English custard squash that goes along with, of course, the salad I just featured. And ready in a minute. It's going to be baked redfish with garden-grown tomatoes and garlic. That's about to go off. Okay, here's the plate put together. We've got from the garden English custard squash steamed with the Russell sprouts. We've got the baked redfish with Jamaican spices. Uh, I'll list them below what I use and tomatoes from the garden. Parsleyed potatoes. Uh, that usually call for lemon juice, but Charlie doesn't do citrus, so I put apple cider vinegar on it. And there's that lovely salad that I showed you here. Again, Charlie doesn't do dairy, so I served mine and then put feta cheese on it. So that's dinner tonight. How's that for healthy?